off your DU. The back guy, Steve. By the way, they're going to grow sine to the fifth of x, cosine to the fourth of x, dx. So, since we have one of the trade functions to the odd power, let's pull that one off to be our DU. So let DU be the sine of x. Then we have to write everything else in terms of cosine. So we'll rewrite this first as the integral of sine of x, that'll be our du, times sine to the fourth of x, times the cosine to the fourth of x dx. We have to rewrite this sine to the fourth of x in terms of u, because we know u is going to be the cosine of x. So if u is cosine of x, of course, du will be negative du will be sine of x dx. And so to rewrite this, we'll write this as one minus cosine squared squared. So this becomes the integral of sine of x, times one minus cosine squared of x squared times the cosine to the fourth of x dx. Now I can directly substitute, meaning now we get the integral of, remember sine of x dx is gonna be negative du, negative du, and then this becomes one minus u squared squared times u to the fourth. Multiplying this out, we get negative the integral of one minus two u squared plus u, u to the fourth times u to the fourth du. Distributing that u to the fourth, we get negative the integral of u to the fourth minus two u to the sixth plus u to the eighth du. Now it's just a bunch of power rules. So we get the negative of one fifth u to the fifth. Distributing that negative, we get plus two u to the seventh divided by seven, and then minus u to the ninth divided by nine. We're done integrating, so don't forget the plus c. Lastly, we back substitute. So this becomes negative one fifth cosine to the fifth of x plus two sevenths cosine to the seventh of x minus one ninth cosine to the ninth of x. Don't forget your plus C. Always remember, math is everywhere.